This is the Gary Cantrell Podcast. Oh man, it's early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. I've been up since 2 a.m. watching Japanese wrestling. I've drinking over 100 ounces of water. And now I'm doing a fucking podcast. Are you kidding me? What is going on right now? (laughs) I don't know. I felt inspired to record right now. Because I don't know. I just, I just felt inspired. I was like, you know, I kind of have this interesting thing that happened last night. I shared it a little bit in my Instagram stories, but for those of you who are not Instagrammers, I went to one of the four places on my band list last night. Well, if you listen to the podcast I just put out on Wednesday, you would already know that the band list is no more. And it was never like, oh my God, I have to go to everywhere on the band list now. I just have to have them all. It was actually a situation where my dog was sick. We picked him up from the vet. And on our way home, it was like, oh, Burger King's right here. We wanted to stop in here. It's really easy. We'll just grab something and, and go home. And I was like, yeah, let's let's do that. Burger King has the impossible Whopper. And I've been intrigued by this. Some of you guys might know about the, uh, what is it? The White Castle Impossible Slider that I had. Daryl and I uh, did it on my IGTV and on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Gary Cantrell, instagram.com slash Gary Cantrell. There's your plugs for the day. Um, and I was like, you know, this Impossible Burger is actually pretty good. Like I'm, you know, I did not hate it at all. I was like, in fact, this is, this is pretty good. Like I can, I can deal with this. Well, anyway, we went last night cause it was just right there. It's on the way home. I went on the app. They had a deal for the impossible burger with a, like a super small fry. I got, I got, I made sure I got the smallest fry passed on the drink. I had water at home. I'm getting real weird about my drinks, by the way. I'm like, okay. Like I pretty much only want to drink water once in a blue moon. I'll have sweet tea once in a blue moon. I'll have lemonade and that's it. Like I don't, mess with anything else sodas off the band list and I still have no desire to have a soda I haven't had an alcoholic beverage in over a year and even if I were to have one which I don't have any desire to have one of those either I would drink it straight because I don't I don't desire soda anymore but back in the day Jack and Ginger Jack and Sprite, Crown and Sprite. That's how I rolled. But we don't do that anymore. Not now. I just I don't have the desire. So anyway, I go to Burger King. I get this impossible Whopper with a small fry. And I get home with this bag. And I'm just like, in my mind, I'm just like, this is so random. <laughs> it felt weird, actually, to have that burger and just be like, okay, we're going to have this burger. It was, it was just weird. It was weird to eat from this place again, but I did it. And it, and by the time I walked away from that thing, when it was all said and done and it didn't last too long, cause I had, I hadn't eaten much all day. I had a salad for lunch and I had my cereal for breakfast. I mean, I was a good boy all day up until that damn Burger King. Although the impossible Whopper, I would say, is probably the lesser of two evils. If you're thinking about like, you know, other options there at, uh, at the, uh, Burger King. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had that and rather than walking away and I was kind of scared, I'm like, you know, part of me is like, God, am, am I going to have this thing and just be like, I have to have it. Like I desire it. No, 
those feelings were not present at all. I ate it. I said, hmm, you know, that was all right. I'd eat it again. But I was kind of like, meh, you know, I, I, I'm not in a hurry to go and have more of this. Like, I'm not like in this position where I'm like, oh my God, I got to have more. There was none of that. I just had my little meal. Just walked my happy ass on to uh, the couch where I passed out. Had my alarm set for one, I think 150, 155 so that I could wake up at 2 a.m. and watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, their their WrestleMania equivalent, which they call Wrestle Kingdom. They have it every single January 4th. It doesn't matter if January 4th is on a fucking Friday or Saturday or, or a Wednesday. They do their show every year on the 4th, and I'm not here to break down in some you know crazy review of the show because this is not a wrestling podcast. All I will say about it was, it was a highly enjoyable show. I really enjoyed it. I mean, why else would I get up at 2 a.m. if it wasn't something that I enjoyed? And I'm sitting here like trying to stay awake. I think I might have passed out for like five or 10 minutes during one of the matches. But other than that, I've been up. I did some yoga for about an hour while I was watching these matches. Like I said, I'm drinking over 100 ounces of water already, and we're still not at 8 a.m. yet. Blows my mind. So now I'm like, well, what what do I do for the rest of the day? Like, between the hours of 2 a.m. and 7 a.m., I did so much in five hours that I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with the rest of my day? Like, I have no clue what now to do with the rest of the day. So I was like, well... We're going to start out with a podcast. (laughs) I was like, you know what? We're just going to do a podcast. Why not? Why not? I just got a new microphone. I got a new vocal processor. And in my headphones, it sounds pretty good. I hope that the output comes out well when I go to edit this. I'm like, okay, God, I hope this sounds really good because I'm still like, you know, figuring out the dials of this vocal processor. Which, by the way, I'll share this story and then I'm going to get out of here. The DBX-286S, this device right here, I have wanted for like five years now. Five years, and I never got it until this week. This microphone that I'm talking to you on, this is the Rode PodMic, and I love it. It sounds beautiful. And this is actually when I was doing research for a proper podcast mic. A lot of people always talk about the Shure SM7B. Well, Gary here used to have the Shure SM7B. But because I was a fuck up, I needed the money. So I had to sell that Shure SM7B. It was heartbreaking. To let that microphone go because that, that microphone's like a $400 microphone and it's amazing it's worth every penny Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on that microphone okay it's a legendary microphone but I had to let mine go because I screwed up anyway when I'm looking for a mics a lot of the reviewers said check out the Rode Pod mic for a retail value of $99 this mic can do most of what the Shure SM7B does for literally what is it? Well, I don't, I'm stuck at math. Is that like a third of the price or something? If it's $400 and this is what $100, it's like a $300 difference there. We're just going to say a third. I'm probably wrong. Somebody can DM me. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> math was not my strong suit. But anyway, So I got this mic, I got this new vocal processing strip for my little rack that I have here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I I am a fan, but how I obtained this equipment was through patreon.com. I run a Patreon site 
where people can donate to the show um and you can get you can get the show five days early and i take out all the commercials so like on the weekly show there's like a couple of minutes where i'm talking about you know flying pig and i'm talking about my hard work always wins.com and i'm talking about the um the patreon and the patreon folks they don't hear all that they just hear the show and so if you want to donate because here's what i did you know i don't make a ton of money every month on patreon i'm still a very small creator in the early stages (laughs) a ripe old age of 13 year veteran in, in the podcasting but this show itself is is going to be three years in may so we're still early on and for a small creator it's hard to gain traction let me tell you Um, so every time somebody donates to Patreon, I put every dollar back into the podcast, whether that's giveaways or buying equipment or taking trips to go meet people to interview the, for the podcast. In this particular instance, I knew I wanted to up my audio game. So I saved a couple of months worth of the Patreon money and I took a little bit of, of Christmas money and I put it together and I was able to purchase this mic and this vocal processing unit and I could not do it without Patreon. So I just want to thank everybody um, that supports me on Patreon. And if you want to join me on there, it's patreon.com slash Gary Cantrell four bucks a month gets you the show five days early along with, you know, ads removed and other bonus stuff when it comes up. And then if you do the $10 a month, you get the shout out on all the weekly shows um, and I shout out your, your name, your Instagram handle. And if you have a business, I shout out your business. So think of it. I mean, 10 bucks a month. That's, that's probably cheaper than a lot of Facebook ads. And if you're, if what you're selling is, uh, close to our audience here, you're going to, you're going to, you might do pretty well, I think. So, um, $10 a month is, is, uh, not a big ask if you're a business guy and you want to get your name out there, but, uh, we have two tiers on the Patreon, and if you can, if you want to support, that'd be super awesome. It'll help me to do more with this podcast. Uh, so patreon.com slash Gary Cantrell. I think that's it for now. I really wanted to share the Burger King thing, and I wanted to uh, show love and, and, and thanks to everybody um, for, uh, you know, on the Patreon for supporting me and helping me to, you know, take my equipment to the next level. Um, so I really appreciate it. The next thing I'm saving for now is going to be the Roadcaster Pro it's this brand well it's not really new but it's this really awesome mixing board where i can do you know a lot it's going to basically simplify my setup even more so uh patreon.com slash gary cantrell and, and if you are somebody that doesn't want to do a monthly if you just want to make like a one-time donation send me a dm on gary cantrell on instagram i'll give you my information paypal venmo i accept it all I will take all your donations. I appreciate you guys. All right. I'm done asking and all that good stuff. Um, Let's get out of here. I want to keep this under 15 minutes because that's what we do on this podcast. The shorter ones, we keep it under 15 minutes. So Gary Cantrell on Instagram. And if you made it this far, if you made it this far after all the uh, asking for Patreon donations and all the content, if you listened this far, either DM me or share this in your story and let's use a microphone emoji because we're talking about a new mic today. Um, Let's do that. Uh, So thank you guys so much for listening. I'm out of here next week on the show. We have Ashley um, at dispatcher Dobby. If you don't follow her already, go follow her right now, right now, right now. And then hear the show on Wednesday. It's a great story and yeah, we'll talk soon guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.